I haven't really touched uh, my camera much today. It's just me and Abby um, Tuesdays, you know, she's going to school. So we came to her house so that she can chill with her toys and her movies and um, we play with baby dolls a lot. Charging everything. And Addie's running around here somewhere. I believe she's changing into her second princess dress of the day so far. Oh. And then I can't hear you. Yeah, I can hear you. <laughs> you think I can't hear you because you're wearing headphones? It's gotten like 40 degrees colder, I think, since I've been out here last. We're gonna go pick up Cam, drop some stuff off at the house, go to the food pantry, meet Erica back here, and head to the Y later. I'm going on this side. That door's locked. Of course I locked the door when I left. <laughs> you tapping your foot for Just come on. <laughs> That's me, my sucker. I want a sucker. You should set it up at us to make Erica think it's actually Or maybe I'll just cut the sound out. And make it look like we're having a nice peaceful dinner. Which we never do. The idea was to get an early start this morning so I could get things done like edit a video, eat breakfast, get the kids up early, catch a sunrise. I was going to get up with Erica and uh, she was supposed to get up at uh, 2.30 I think and she hit the snooze and that was when I fell asleep after that. I don't remember when she got up. And it's like today's Monday because Addie didn't have school Monday. I kept Cam home yesterday. So today's like officially Monday. I'm back in Wilmington and I will be often. I have a list of things that I need to do and yes I physically write the list out so I don't forget. really messed up over Thanksgiving uh, uploading videos pretty much as I filmed them because now that just feels like what I need to do and I have this like week and a half backlog of other videos I think well I don't know what I'm gonna do I'm not gonna pretend that I know what I'm gonna do I know I'm gonna get some coffee right now I get into this mode where it's like, it seems like I need more sleep than I might really need. And it's at that time that I should either listen to my body because maybe I'm getting sick. Maybe I need to change my nutrition. Maybe that's why I'm tired. Or 
maybe I just need to get the heck out of bed. And it's a slow downward spiral to what I was facing up till today. I feel like today's the last day where you just kind of hit the snooze and hit the snooze and then you're like, man, I'm still getting stuff done. Like, I don't need to get up early and, but that's not true. So Monday, I forgot to set my alarm. So everyone was late to school. And then Tuesday, Addy didn't have school and Cam was home from school, so I didn't have to get up. But then last night happened and that was rolling around for five hours where I didn't fall asleep. Imagine that. Now I was gonna get up, I was, but I just fell back to sleep waiting for Erica to get out of bed, which she didn't. She knew what she was doing. I didn't know what she was doing. So I didn't know what to think. I didn't know what to do. So I just lay there and apparently I fell asleep and that's fine. This morning, didn't set my alarm. Somehow woke up at seven though. So I got lucky. But to break that cycle, last night needed to happen. I got like four hours of crappy sleep after rolling around for five hours of no sleep. I really think cars are like needy children. Like, when your kids want something and you don't give it to them, they escalate, right? Like, they they want a gumball from the restaurant, so they whine. And the whining leads to the reason why they can't have a gumball. Well, you're whining and you're being loud and obnoxious and rude and blah, blah, blah. Cars are like that. Like, the taillight went out of the mothership. And then the brakes started doing that squeaky thing to tell you you should change your brake pads. We didn't change the brake pads. And I kept putting off changing the headlight. It was a silly misunderstanding about the hood won't pop, but Erica got it popped, of course. And now I have a tail light and four brake pads in the mothership, and I'm on my way to buy a tail light because yesterday I realized the tail light's out. And we haven't fixed any of it. So my guess is the mothership is just throwing a tantrum on the floor like, well, I'm not doing shit. So I've got a pamper the mothership today trying this vehicle swapping out again hopefully it goes more smoothly this time Come Tell me why the last time I needed to do something at this house, I gave everything back to my dad, including tools of my own, except one pipe wrench. Pipe wrench is not going to help me change these taillights out or this headlight. So once again, I will say that I will do the brakes tomorrow. Gives them a satisfaction they couldn't get any other way.